Here's what happened so far. Omni's quest to find his lost friends and a way to Aboria continues, and he finds himself in Sniffelheim, where he offers to help investigate Gold Fever, an odd affliction that has turned that has been turning citizens into gold statues. Into solid gold statues. As they search for answers, they learn of Eric's early life and help him recover his lost memories, hoping to find a way to save those who have been turned to gold. They infiltrate the Guildnaut's castle, only to learn of the horrifying truth. Their leader, Guildga, is none other than Eric's sister, Mia. They eventually overcome her, but this causes her powers to spin out of control, threatening to turn everything around her to gold. Eric prepares to land the killing blow, but Omni sees that Mia has returned to her senses and stops him at the last second. Realizing that he still has a chance to save his sister, he dives into the fray, praying that, he, that no heed to the magical force is running wild around him. He takes Mia in his arms, and, and as, he so, as he does so, the curse is broken at last. With Gold Fever gone, the people of Sniffelheim who turned into statues are restored to their human forms, and Mia is taken into rest into the church. Weakened, but back to her old self, Eric has finally found the forgiveness the seer promised him, and the party set out once more for their quest to lord a shadow's defeat and light return to the world. A little better. A little, little better. Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamers Grotto. My name is Omni and we are continuing Dragon Quest XI. Now I'm here at uh, La Academia de Notre Mati des Medales. Uh, I'm here for multiple reasons. One, I figured out the uh, the riddle. For one, it's quite obvious on how they say it. I think I still have it too. Uh, the item because uh, equipment oh and I also bought this um, I don't have it don't I I don't have it yeah I gotta make it hold on one second okay so the riddle um, I can't remember what the riddle was but the answer to the first riddle is a steel broadsword open the door and I just blew a blue eye on it so how sad that I had to but I had no choice I need a steel blade and I knew how to make it and professional pearls is good having them so the f so first let's go in here and turn in this quest and um, her gravestone, the gravestone for this, um, for Maxi, is um, in a field, uh, near the, mostly near the water. And there's a gravestone in the wheat fields. Mm -hmm. She believes um, that was her treasure, the whole view of the entire place in water. Yep. Maxie's treasure was actually the beautiful scenery of her homeland in Zagoras. So, it was fields of wheat that were part of her treasure uh, that shone like the setting sun, and her homeland that she thought was more precious than the purest of gold. It's not what I expected, but thank you. Thank you for fulfilling my last wish. And uh, now I know what the treasure truly is. I can finally rest in peace. Oh, but before you go, I have this. I got Chrono Crystal. I forgot what those are, but pretty much it's good. It's a good item. Bye-bye. We'll see each other, I'm sure. Bye. Now she dies. Meh. I don't want to reach. Whatever. 
get this riddle done. Steel broadsword. Uh, let's see. That's it! You've answered it. Um, you exercised the answer, traveler. You worked it out. A single-handed sword that sounds like you should pilfer it is, um, it is a steel broadsword. Uh, get it? Steel broadsword? Steel broadsword? Pilfer! Get it? Not bad, not bad, but the game's not over. I got another perplexing problem. Uh, short temper cacti ball. It's, uh, particularly prickly. Alright, here we go. Riddle me this. What sort of weapon sounds like it's made of, um, frustrating something that's flaky? If you think you know the answer, equip it and come to show me. Uh, equipment. And this answer is a frizzle foil. I think you have the answer. Interesting. You can buy the frizzle foil in Gondolia in the weapon stands, and that's the only place I know you can actually get it. I don't know if you can make it, but if you can, good luck. Uh, you're dead right. The answer was a frizzle foil all along. To flag, uh, to flag is to fizzle, and to frustrate is to foil. That's why the weapon that sounds like it's made to frustrate things. Uh, that are flagging is a fizzle foil. Mm, I didn't think anybody would be able to solve my two most brain straining riddles. But you did it! You're a smart shoe, alright? You're a clever clog. Uh, you win the riddle, and here's your reward a small set of souvenirs. A set of small souvenirs. Five mini medals. So now you know. There. I did it for you. Awarded for finding at least 50 metal medals. Nice. So I can turn them in and get my next reward. I did already fill out that, um, one of the, um, um, I already did fill out one of the pages. I mean, the second page. So I already got that reward. And now I got this one. Whatever it is. Uh, Glumboro? Uh, a Glumborillo. And now my next one is a suit of spiked armor. Nice. I don't know what it'll do for me. But yay. Uh, any other quests I can turn in? I can turn in a lot of quests. Oh, and yeah, we gotta go to Lonolulu. So, Lonolulu, Nautica, and finishing off these. So, I gotta go to Sniffleheim, and then Pure Valor. Alright, so, I basically... Alright, so here's the long and short of everything. I basically completed a bunch of quests, and I also accepted a bunch of quests. But, pretty much nothing's different in Lonolulu or in Nautica. It's just that they, um, Lanolulu is just fine, and in Nautica, uh, the queen thanks you, and you're able to turn back into a fish, and do a bunch of other stuff. So, I've, I've been able to do a bunch of things here and there, and I've been stalling a bit. So, instead of just showing you everything else, I'm just going to skip to this part right here, where I just finished up doing all those different things. I'm in an hour in completing all those other quests. And um, this is what I have now. Um, this one. The Measures of a Man. Um, the, f uh, the Fragrant File. Soothing Seaweed. My Kingdom for some whatever. The Momentous Occasion. And Justice is Ranged. Those are the old, those are the ones I gotta complete. And then this one is in Hotto. So, that's the next place we gotta go. But I have a feeling, you know what, I'm gonna try and go over there. So, zoom to Galapagos. So. We're gonna make our way into Hotto.
Alright, so there is some trouble here. Alright, well at least I didn't come for nothing. But, um, the priestess, uh, the mountain priestess. She knows. Oh yeah, and then there's someone at the Springs of Quest. That's what all the reason I came here for, too. To accept a, a single quest. Alright, so there's something going on in Hado. I wonder what it could be. Is there another quest? Main quest line? Oh, it's loading. Yes. Yes, there is. Unhappy tidings. The one assailed by the fiend sleeps still like the bear. Fair Mistress Miko, the rite cannot be performed with the beast abroad. Silence, whining car! A monk's spirit is equal to any monster! <sighs> this accursed wound! Till it heals, I am helpless. The right left undone. Well, I sure wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Hmm, agreed. Oh, but we have guests. Forgive the storm of my rage. My shame knows no bounds. The wind blew you here. Surely it was not by chance. Will you hear my tale? No. The Angry Mountain. A rite must be performed there, lest fire consume us. Oh, so your risk of dying. But disaster looms. A monk was sent to pray, yet a beast blocked his path. The fiend loomed, monstrous. Fierce of fang and sharp of claw. He ran for his life. Was it a nurse a minor? And it was I you. longed to hunt it. But I faced another foe and suffered this wound. A great fire dragon. Oh, Tatsunaga that. the terror. Now he is no more. Forgive my boldness, but the beast blocks our lifeline. Slay it in my stead. Okay. I greet your kind words, as the step in high summer greets the falling rain. Okay. Head first to the west. You will find a mountain path. There the monster waits. No problem. I already knew what it was. Oh, guiding spirit. Guardian of rock and flame. Protect these brave souls. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so there is a little thingamajiggy going on in uh, Hado where we're gonna need to, you know, jump in. Alright, so Hado is under attack by its own mountain, and there's a monster block in the path for a monk who needs to pray. Looks like it's a job for the heroes of the world. Let's go. What kind of monster? I, like I said, it's probably an Ursa Minor. And we have to kill the Ursa Minor and then go all the way back and she says, Oh yay! Cool! Whatever. Smoky. Roar! 
Get out of here! Go on, go away! <sighs> um... Go away, or I will eat you! It is an Ursa Minor, but apparently it's being trolled. The beast is upon us. Stand fast. Yeah, I'm not buying it. I... I am the spirit of the mountain, and I have very, very sharp claws. If you do not want to be torn to pieces, you had better get out of here! Hendrik, if you fall for this... We're going nowhere! Oh, Jesus. Not until you promise to stop bullying innocent monks and let the villagers climb the mountain! Wow. Huh? Yeah. Um, was it something I said? Pretty much. Sh shouldn't they be running away? Well, what are we going to do? Shut up, idiot! They will hear us! How are we going to scare them away if you keep jabbering? Yeah, they're a bunch of kids in a Ursa minor outfit. Ow! Bunch of kids. This is all your fault, Atsuko. Now we are in trouble. You've been in trouble. You just basically murder. You're basically attempting mass murder of the village. Shut up, Atsuko. If you had not fallen over, we would never have ended up in this mess. <laughs> yeah, does that remind you of someone? So much for our big scary monster. It's just a couple of little ones. You surprised us, darlings. Foolish children. What possessed you to risk your lives with such recklessness? There we go, Henry Goldbeam Stern. No, we never meant it. <clears throat> we have done no wrong. Miko's right has to be stopped. A tragedy looms. And why? Yes, yes! You have to listen to my brother! Miko wants to do a horrible thing and we have to stop her! Uh, what is she trying to do? Seems these bairns have got a bee in their bonnet about something. We'd better get to the bottom of this. Sure. You will hear us out. Other grown-ups ignore us, as mountains do rain. Do you really think they will? Is someone finally going to listen to us? Well, we'll hear you out. I mean, like, we got no reason not to yet. I think so. And they seem very strong. With them on our side, people are sure to listen. Mm. <sighs> we have a hideout. And then, like a fox's home. We will meet you there. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> So kids living on the top of the mountain, and yeah, that was an Ursa Minor. They slaughtered an Ursa Minor. How did they do it? I have no idea. They skinned it too. Hey look. Hello. 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 Alright, what's this all going on about? Hooray! You are... <clears throat> Thank you for coming. We have been awaiting you. As seeds await spring. Great. You, you can drop the rhyming act. These people, my son. The travelers you spoke of? Light in the darkness? Yes. Yes, mother. They came. The ones who did not treat us as horses treat flies. You said you were trying to stop the right. Why would you wish to do so? The right is sacred. Or so we have long been taught. But this is just wrong. To appease the gods, a sacrifice will be made. Our own dear mother. Mm. 
human sacrifice. Oh my, this right is just not right. <laughs> Miko gathered us. She made a grave pronouncement. A great shadow fell. In happier times, we offered up fruit, silk, corn. But those days are gone. Ah, so one of the shadow, uh, shadow monsters of the siege, the sentinels, the spectral sentinels. Without sacrifice, living flame will consume us. The volcanoes rage. <sighs> the Lord of Shadows has got a lot to answer for. I was selected, a gift for the volcano, a live offering. But why me? Why now? It was the mountain that chose, or so Miko said. Mother gave us life, so we had to fight for hers. It is our duty. Well, those are some respectable kids. A noble cause indeed. I see now why you did what you did. For the whole tree's sake, one leaf falls into the flames. Perhaps I should go. Uh, no. No, do not say that! You know your sacrifice is just an excuse! A few short days passed. Our mother saw Miko go, where she should not be. Miko learned of this. She now wants the truth buried. A mother also. She hides a secret. Up there on the mountainside. Why else would she go? That dragon's probably not dead. It certainly sounds like something fishes afoot. Maybe the lad is right. It can't hurt to take a look, at least. <gasps> you will take us there. This is music to our ears. As sweet as birdsong. Huh. Bird song. Beyond this ladder, a path leads into darkness. The volcano's heart. Cool. Can I look around for all your stuff, though? No, no books. No pots. Oh, okay. That's weak. Alright, well... We might as well uh, go check this out. Uh, we got some time, hopefully. Um, hopefully it's not running on too long. Hmm. Well, you know what? It might actually be too long. But, yeah. Hey! It's very surprising to see. It's a handy hand. Uh, a hearty hand, actually. And those things are incredibly rare. Alright. Um, do I have something good for um, hitting that hearty hand? Lightning? Oh, critical. Yes. This one. Nice! And I got it. Yes. Ha ha ha. Now I got a lot of experience for that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Look at all the experience. I leveled up. And a bunch of other people are gonna level up. No? Oh, okay. Nice. I found fiery brimstone. Now, where'd that sign go? There he is. Another hearty, ha hearty hand? Amazing. Oh, and he fled. Victory is ours. Alright. Well, I actually am going to call the episode here, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe to get there more of my content. And remember that Gamer's Card is home for all games for all gamers, so don't be afraid to recommend any game to you. Thank you, have a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you all next episode. Later.